This is Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon with another installment of First Sound. Today we're going to look at Toledo quarterback Logan Woodside. Woodside is a very experienced quarterback and we're going to focus today on feel for the pocket and footwork. Woodside has really flown under the radar during this draft process, but he did play at the NFLPA Collegiate Bowl where he was coached by Mike Martz. Martz was very impressed with Woodside, said he will play in the NFL someday, and said that Woodside was far advanced when compared to some of the other players that have played in that game. I want to talk about his footwork, his feel for the pocket, some of the other things that really form a great foundation for his transition to the NFL. We're going to look at four plays here. The first is a play against Ball State. And again, focus on the footwork here. He's in the gun. And as we see here, really good crisp drop. He uses a three-step drop here. First step, cross, set. And now watch the feet as he makes this subtle climb. Again, he has a little bit of edge pressure. But he's going to throw a post route, which is pretty open down the field. But I really like the way he climbs the pocket here. Two quick chop steps. You want those steps to be short and quick and really delivers on the throw. Good drop, subtle climb, perfect throw with great ball rotation on it. You know, this is a very sort of, you know, it's a run-of-the-mill play, but I like the way he makes it. It's just picturesque. I like the way he keeps that left hand glued to the football as well. Here's another play against Ball State. This is a three by one. He's going to throw this backside vertical route here. We get to see both the footwork as he transitions through his reads, as well as some manipulation to this sort of backside safety here. We'll get to that in a second. But he opens to the middle of the field. Eyes are trained down there. Again, another good crisp drop. Hits. He's going to hitch and throw here. Right now, look at the feet. They're aligned straight to the middle of the field the eyes match the feet that helps sell that he's going to throw to the middle of the field but as he then comes to the left again watch how the feet work with him right there pivots again those quick little choppy steps gets himself reset to throw that vertical route to the boundary and puts it nice to the outside sort of a back shoulder type throw that's perfect placement on this you get the receiver to fall down and it's a touchdown We'll see on the replay here in a second. This is that safety I was talking about. Again, eyes trained towards the middle of the field. Here's that safety. He's reading the eyes. He's dropping this way just a bit. Part of that is, again, you get three by one. He's going to have to move just a little bit as well. But the eyes help sell it. They'll help create some space on the back end of this play. And then flashes the eyes, Woodside does to the outside. The feet come with him. Perfect footwork here. Doesn't cross himself up. Puts it right to the outside. Corner has inside leverage on it. So you want to throw it to the outside. Again, back shoulder throw. Puts it perfectly, and it's a touchdown. Here's another play against Ball State. Carries out mesh fake right here. So his eyes are looking this way. We'll have some pressure off the edge to the back side. Part of the reason I wanted to start with those first two plays and show the footwork is we see it actually make a difference on this play. Because as we get some edge pressure from the blind side, he feels it. And because of his good crisp footwork and those short choppy steps, he can climb away from it. Gets himself a little bit more time. He's still looking downfield to read the concept. Now we're going to get some interior pressure. What I love here from Woodside is the subtle movement again to sort of get away from it, create some time to extend the play, and then hit the check down. Subtle turn. Has the check down now. Again, it's nothing big, but it's a great result. Last play we're going to look at. Again, Clicking and climbing in the pocket. Not a lot of quarterbacks show an advanced understanding of that. Climb in the pocket, but it can save you as a quarterback. Watch Tom Brady climb the pocket sometime. It makes a huge difference. This is a play against Northern Illinois. Quick little drop here. Hits his depth. Eyes downfield. You get edge pressure on both sides. 
So what do you do as a quarterback? Click and climb. And that's exactly what he will do here. Again, left hand trained. Throws the post route over the middle for a big play. I like Woodside's footwork, his feel for the pocket. It shows the experience that he has as a quarterback. Mart said it himself. He's very advanced when it comes to playing the position. He's far ahead of some other quarterbacks we've seen, even in this class, some bigger names in terms of feel and footwork in the pocket. He has flown under the radar. I know he has some supporters. One of my followers, John Blair, who is at QB Coach Blair on Twitter, has been talking up Woodside. And I, there are some things to like. I think he is still sort of a day three guy, but with a combine invite in hand, he has a chance to sort of solidify his day three position and really put himself in a position to hear his name called at some point during the 2018 NFL draft. For some of the reasons I've outlined here and more, he's somebody you should be studying as well as we get closer to draft time in Dallas. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of First Sound. Please check out all the First Sound videos over at youtube.com backslash inside the pylon, as well as all the work over at insidethepylon.com.